Welcome back. We're going to be talking about material balances in reactive systems. And first we're going to be talking about what is a multiple reaction. And a reaction in series is the one where I produce uh, something, some product, and this product will react with, let's say, another um, reactant. And in parallel is when you will have, let's say, uh, two reactions that occur but uh, one, um, one of the reactants can have one way or another. Yield is the ratio of the moles of the desired product formed over the moles that would have been formed if the limiting reactant had reacted completely or the ideally formed, um, the ideally formed uh, number of moles, okay? We're going to talk about this in a minute. And selectivity, is the ratio of the moles of the desired product formed over the moles of the undesired product that is formed. Sometimes you have some reactions where you have an undesired product. If we go uh, by the way of the extent of the reaction, now since we have more than one reactions, then we have to add up this extent of reaction times the stoichiometric coefficient. So we will have more than one extent of reaction here. And in the atomic balance, inputs equals outputs, and you can obtain the number of moles per atom in a molecule with an stoichiometric ratio. So we're going to be working with an example. The example states that ethylene is oxide, it's oxidized to ethylene oxide, which is the desired product, and this is the reaction. But then carbon dioxide can also be formed, and this is undesired. The fractional conversion of this C2H4, which is ethylene, is 50%, and the yield of C2H4O, which is this uh, ethylene oxide, is 40%. O2 is fed to be 150 mole, check the molar basis of calculation of 100 mole of C2H4. And now we're going to be working with this example so that we can obtain everything, and I am going to be working in both uh, methods. So the first thing before, uh, having a method is to obtain uh, the amount of moles that are going to react of C2H4. We're going to take a molar basis of uh, 100 moles of C2H4, and the fractional conversion here is 50%. So the fractional conversion, we can obtain that the moles of, that are going to be reacted is 0.5 times 150 mole, so that 50 mole will go out. Since the yield of C2H4O is 40%, well, if 100% of 100 mole of C2H4 are fed, 100 mole of C2H4 will ideally be formed because if this reacts two, then you form two. So if this reacts 100% by this reaction, then you can form 100 moles here. So here you can get from the yield that 40 moles of C2H4 is going to be formed. Then we can choose uh, our method. Extent of the reaction will actually suggest that since C2H4 final number of moles equals initial plus, and this guy is only appearing in the first reaction, then it's going to be 40, which is the final number of moles already calculated, equals zero, nothing was fed, plus two, which is the stoichiometric coefficient times the advance of the reaction one. And here the, reaction, the advance of reaction one can be 20 mole. For C2H4, we have exactly the same. And in this case, the amount of moles that we have finally here is 50. We have already calculated that. And this is equal to 100, which is initially, minus two, which is the stoichiometric coefficient here, times this advance of reaction one, minus one, which is the coefficient here, times the advance of reaction two. So from here, we can get the advance of reaction two, which is 10 mole. Now we can see how much was formed by of CO2. The final moles equals the initial moles, which we don't have, plus two times 10 in this case, because this is the advance of reaction two. Is positive once again because this is a product times the stoichiometric coefficient times the advance of reaction. Reaction two is 10. 
So this is 20 mole. And for H2O is exactly the same since we have exactly the same amount or they, it appears in the same or it is formed in the same reaction, right? And with the same stoichiometric coefficient. Oxygen is going to be uh, consumed in these two reactions. So we are going to have 150 minus one times uh, advance of reaction one minus three times advance of reaction two. It yields to 100 moles. If instead of doing this uh, extent of reaction or advance of reaction method, we use atom atomic species, you have to understand that what is going to be input into the reactor is C2H4 and oxygen. And in, what is going to go out of the reaction is all of this. So a balance for C will suggest that we have the number of initial moles of C2H4, and we have two moles of C per mole of C2H4, and C only enters here. And then it's going to exit as C2H4. It's going to exit as C2H4O, but also CO2. From here, you have two moles of C per mole of C2H4, two moles of C per mole of C2H4O, and one mole of C per mole of CO2. From here, you can get the moles of CO2 because you have the rest having 20 moles as well. For hydrogen, well, we have hydrogen here at the entrance, and then we're going, it's going to exit at all of these situations, right? And in this case, uh, it's going to exit here in C2H4. Here is a four, I'm sorry. C2H4O and H2O being the ratios four, four in this case as well, and two. So you have all the information you can get in final of H2O being 20 moles as well. And last, you can do a balance for oxygen. And for oxygen, oxygen is entering here, but it's exiting by itself here, here, and here. So you will have all this balance, analyze it to get 100 mole. At the last, we can obtain the selectivity, which is the ratio of the moles of desired product formed over the moles of undesired product formed. Since we have uh, 40 formed of C2H4O and 20 of CO2, we can actually have the selectivity as two moles of C2H4O per mole of CO2. So this is everything I have to say right now. Thank you.